the rock band Oasis would release what would be their final album, Dig Out Your Soul, in 2008. It was during the tour to support the album the band would headline the Virgin Festival in Toronto, Canada, but the performance would be overshadowed by one drunken fan who rushed the stage and came in contact with one of the Gallagher brothers, resulting in a few broken bones. That's what we're going to explore in today's video. During a festival appearance in Toronto, Canada, Oasis was playing to a crowd of 25,000 people. It was during their performance of the song Morning Glory, a drunken man named Daniel Sullivan, who was 47 at the time, was able to make his way on stage and come from behind the Gallagher brothers pushing guitarist Noel on top of one of the stage monitors. After pushing Noel, Sullivan attempted to rush frontman Liam Gallagher, but the vocalist saw Sullivan and raised his fist to defend himself. But before Sullivan could reach Liam, several security guards were able to tackle the assailant. Here's a fan shot clip of what happened that night. The attacker was quickly removed from the stage. The Gallagher brothers also left the stage but returned to finish the show. According to Noel, he suffered three broken ribs. The incident left him in months of pain. He would tell a court during the trial of Sullivan, revealing, and I quote, I would describe the sudden impact and shock as feeling as if I had been hit by a bus. Gallagher would suffer three broken ribs and spend some time in the hospital. Several of the band's follow-up shows in New York and Paris had to be canceled, and Gallagher would claim that record sales of the band's latest release suffered since they couldn't properly promote the record. As for Sullivan, he doesn't remember how he got backstage. He admitted he was intoxicated and only recalled trying to climb over a fence before falling on his back. Sullivan pled guilty to assault, causing bodily harm for the September 2008 attack, which was captured on video by several fans. He would be sentenced to 12 months of house arrest. Shortly after the incident, the members of Oasis would appear on MTV to talk about the incident, as they stated here. It was a bit of grief, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we say a few things that people don't like, but, you know, it happens, it happens. It could have been a lot worse, that's the way I look at it. You know, that's the guy's going to get dealt with, he's already, he got dealt with, and he's going to get dealt with properly. When I went to see my doctor back in London, he'd seen it on YouTube and he said, you're lucky you didn't break your neck. I saw you were sizing up at one point. Well, yeah, man. A good 10 seconds after the incident, but you still no, sized no, up. No, 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 I've heard all that <laughs> mate. That happened in a split five seconds. No, I'd have done that regardless of security guards or regardless of the people looking. He'd have got it regardless. But what really me off the most about it, apart from the incident itself, was that if you're going to do something like that, God forbid, but you'd expect someone to stand there and go, OK, that's it's my time to shine. What, are you, what the hell? It's like hitting a man with glasses on, isn't it? I thought I'd been winded. I mean, to be first, not to sound too dramatic about this, the, the guy came from up from underneath the stage and it had been raining, and when I got up off the floor, there was kind of puddles around. I thought I'd been stabbed at first. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I got to say, for a split second, I s***ed it. I thought he'd been stabbed. And I looked down and I seen a lot, and I thought, oh, oh, so man. It was just lying there. But, you know. In 2021, Noel Gallagher looked back at that moment recalling, my first thought was, why me? Why not him? Why not the other fella? Referring to his brother Liam. I'm writing all the tunes here, mate. That does it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Stories.